Hey guys, welcome back to the BuzzerBot, and here is how to fix uh, troubleshoot Unimog, LEGO Unimog transmissions, and in general other LEGO Technic transmissions. Now I'm specifically referring to this type of switcher system, which is used in more recent high-end sets, like the Technic Supercar I'm pretty sure has it as well. And what this is for is to allow for the um, power that's coming out of the electric motor to be distributed to different areas depending on how you mechanically switch it. Now here, this switching system, which was, would have been originally connected to the electric motor here, which would have driven this wheel here, it would initially come into this first shaft here, which would either, depending on the switching configuration, continue on to the pneumatic pump over here, down here. Alternatively, if you switch it the other way, it would go redirect itself into the second shaft, which would then either distribute itself to the PTO on the front or the back. Now, this is the intention, but unfortunately, it didn't work quite so well when I originally assembled my Unimog. And I've since corrected it, and since I'm re uh, filming this uh, troubleshooting video here, I've attempted to force the error again, and it didn't quite turn out the way, I'd, the way it originally happened it actually ended up reversing itself, so that's just the t a testament to how many issues can come up in this transmission. Now, it's a very good transmission system, provided that you troubleshoot it. Once you fix it, unless you re-create uh, the problem, it shouldn't happen again. Now, what sh now as you can see here, the, um, pow the power is not being directed to the pump. Now, um, I can't show you the levers I'm moving, but if I switch the yellow lever to neutral, as you can see, it moves that into the neutral position and does not move it. If I switch it down to the pump setting, it will move the pneumatic pump, which is over here. And as you can see, it is moving. Now, let's switch it back to the setting for the second tra uh, transmission area. Now, what's happening now is... If it's set in neutral, it's still moving, as you can see. And it's actually moving the front and rear PTO. Now, if we set it down to the setting for the front PTO, let's see what it does then. It's still moving the front and rear PTO. And if we set it to the rear PTO, it is still moving the front and rear PTO. So, the error that I had was that... The rear PTO and the neutral settings would work properly, but when I set it to the front PTO setting, it would move the front PTO, but also the rear one. So this is a similar situation, but not exactly the same. It's just the little tolerances and the tightness. So, um, obviously, there will be a lot more stuff here once you have the Unimog assembled and you're finding out that it doesn't work. Now, you could remove some of the paneling and the engine like I did to get a better, closer look, but it's possible to just wedge your finger in there. Oops, sorry. And uh, But the problem here is that the pieces are too tight together. So what you all you need to do is make sure that the red bearing at the end and this end gear are uh, spread apart. Because you see, oops, this gear here has an actual axle hole. The, the uh, brown, the kind of dark gray gears here only have a pinhole. It's just a circle. But these ones have an actual cross, so they're connected to the axle. Now this axle that's running in between all these things that only have pinholes, so they don't move in direct correlation to the um, in direct correlation to the actu actual axle. Now there is a gray piece, which is if I can just remove one over here. It's this piece, not minus the blue one. This piece is running inside of there, connected to the axle. Now this red piece is gro has grooves that connect to one of these. So this red piece is moving with the axle and the switchers will move it in between and it has little grooves that will run the pinhole pieces. Now it's kind of complex, but the basic but the short summary is that if you're having that trouble, just spread the gray gear and the red bearing apart as far as you can so they're right up against the girders. And that should correct your problem. At least it should, I hope it does, because then I would look kind of stupid if it didn't. So, if we switch it to the 
what is it, the rear PTO setting. It appears to be only moving the rear PTO, and if we set it to the front PTO setting, it appears to be only moving the front PTO. So that's how you fix it. If you're having trouble with the switching system, all you need to do is just, and it'll only happen on this, on the rear one as far as I know, because these ones don't have any geared gears. Just need to spread the red bearing and the gray gear apart. Alternatively, if you can't get in there, just spreading one or the other apart might fix it. But anyway, I'm going to leave you with one more thing that I forgot to show you. Um, during the Technic Snowplow review, I didn't actually show you the spare parts that it came with. But I'll just dump them out here, I guess. As you can see, here's another part why I didn't like the alternate model. It's just because there were so many spare parts and they did so little. So I kind of wish that they'd, you know, done a little more. Like, tons of stuff. Pneumatic hoses, gears, all kinds of cool stuff they could have done something with, I feel. But anyway, thanks for visiting the BuzzerBot. Hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. See you guys.